Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 10, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have fallen for three days now from uh, 91.5 all the way down to the 50 moving average here that we're trading at 90.42. The 50 moving average is holding, and um, as long as that is the case, we should be wary whether or not this is going to break down or not. Technical indicators are looking very um, bearish at this point, so it's very likely that we are going to drop below the 50 and head towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band, and that is at 89.85. If that is the case, then we should expect uh, precious metals, commodities, indices, and so on to be fairly bullish at this stage. Cryptocurrencies are extremely bullish, mainly due to the fact that Tesla started buying uh, buying uh, Bitcoin, and um, that will most likely wear off in the next few trading days. And um, yes, but at the moment. If we drop below the 50, we're going to the bottom of the Bollinger Band before rallying back towards the 50. So that's most likely what is going to happen here. If we turn around here, then we have the top of the Bollinger Band here at 91.33. And uh, that will most likely be our next res uh, resistant area. So let's look at oil. So oil just continues to rally, rally, and rally. At this point, we are getting to unsustainable levels. It is very likely that we could see a pullback in oil at any point. We are at 58.21. In a time where the world economy is probably in its worst shape ever, uh, both in North America, in Europe, also in Asia, and so on, and demand for oil is most likely historically low so these rallies are mainly based on speculations that things are just going to go back to normal stimulus and so on and so on of course there have been uh, supply cuts and so on and that also uh, will affect the price to the upside but to be fairly honest most of this move here was due to vaccination um, uh, news and also stimulus. So at this point, we are trading at 58.21. We are way above the Bollinger Band, which we have been for the last six days, which is very, very uncommon. Uh, we did go outside here, but we did also have red days. This is just green days all the way from the 20 exponential and all the way up to 58.21. So pull back from here to roughly 54.8. That should be where we see uh, the 20 exponential coming up this way and we will pull a rally from there. So it is possible to start selling it. It is risky, very risky. The target here is 60. So I would rather wait for a pullback towards around, around this area here, 55 to 454. And that is where... Uh, buyers will come back in and buy this to the upside. So 60 is going to be our target. And after that, you'll mostly see this market drop quite significantly. We are significantly overbought here, 79 at the in the RSI, and we're outside of the bullish band. Both, the, both of those um, indicators are not a very co good cocktail for a rally. It is most likely going to drop from here. So let's look at the... the natural gas market so as you can see we continue to fall we'll most likely drop towards the 20 exponential at the 2.2.7 uh, uh, before we rally or if we break below the 20 and the 50 we are most likely going back towards the 200 moving average at 2.4 technical indicators are looking very bearish for this market so no interest of basically buying this um, if weather conditions continue to be very uh, cold in the United States, then we may see this rally up towards the three dollar range again and beyond that. So let's look at copper. So copper has rallied up to 3.7 and now we're running into resistance. 
At this point, it is very likely that we'll fall back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band at 3.6 before we continue up towards 3.8. We are in a uptrend. We, uh, we uh, had a period where we gradually went back towards the 50 moving average, but now we are ready to go even higher. So 3.8 is most likely going to be our target after the pullback towards the 20 exponential. So technical indicators are still bullish, so that may take a few days, but it is very likely that that is going to happen. So let's look at gold. So gold is basically all over the place. Almost, you can say that. We have uh, the resistance line here. We can draw it up there. Uh, which we have to break in order to go towards 1900. Uh, at the moment, we are struggling. <clears throat> sorry, we're struggling at the 200 moving, uh, 220 exponential moving average. We have the 200 moving average above and the 50 and the resistance line. That's a lot in order to get through. It is more likely at this point that we're going to drop towards seven, uh, 1750, and then we are going to rally up towards 1900. We are running into a lot of resistance. We are basically pulling back quite aggressively here and trading underneath the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are bullish, but they are not extremely bullish. So it is fairly likely that we are going to start trending downwards. People are putting money into cryptocurrencies and not gold, as they usually did when the economic times were became bad. So they are using Bitcoin as a safe haven or cryptocurrencies as safe haven instead of gold. That is most likely what is happening here. Otherwise, we would have seen uh, gold go way past um, 2000 level and beyond that. You know, when you're considering how much money has basically been printed, how much liquidity has been added to the world economy. And that should be extremely bullish for gold. And at this point, it is not really. So we could drop from here, a break below these previous lows at 1788. That will drop us all the way down to 1750 um, and then way below that. So let's look at silver. So as you can see, we have rallied from the 20 exponential moving average. And we have found resistance here at the previous highs and also the previous highs over here, which has been... Uh, really big headache for this market for a very long time. So this area here uh, is going to be tough to get through, but I think that we are going to get through it. Pullbacks towards the 20 are still buying opportunities. Pullbacks towards the 50s are even better buying opportunities. Technical indicators are, are very flat at this point. So we most likely will see this drop towards the 20 again before crossing above the $27 uh, range. So we are most likely going towards uh, $30, and uh, when that breaks, we'll go to $35 and even $40. So let's look at uh, the list here, uh, Platinum. So Platinum continues to defy gravity. We can just look at the Bollinger Band here just to see how parabolical this market has become. We are trading at 11.78 at this point. We were all the way up towards 11.89 before pulling back uh, ever slightly. We're still way above the Bollinger Band. There's a lot of room to the upside. There's some room to the upside. We're 66, 70 is the is the is the um, is the um, is where we'll become overbought. And uh, yes, at this point, it is very likely they will fall back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. So that's at 11.02, and after that, we will continue this rally. So let's look at Pallium. So we have found resistance here at the 50 moving average, and um, that was also expected. We have been trading within this uh, square for a very long time, of the highs of 2.5 and the lows of the of 2.2. So just at the 200 moving average here. So we touched the bottom, rallied up towards the 50, found quite a lot of resistance, and now we're most likely going to head 
back toward the bottom, or we're just going to see something similar to this before we go higher or lower. So the only two areas I would enter this market is either at the very highs where you can basically sell this or at the very lows where you can buy this. I would not enter this market anywhere else except for those two price levels. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we continue this rally. We are now testing these previous highs over here and uh, we are running into quite a lot of resistance. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point, so we may pull back a little bit to the 50 and then continue rally. If we take out the, these uh, previous highs, then we're most likely going to 2.1. So um, keep an eye on this. At the moment, I would not enter this for a buy. I would wait for a pullback towards the 50 moving average and then target these previous highs and also 2.1. So let's look at nickel. So as you can see, we are testing these previous highs here, and this is fairly similar to aluminium. In order to enter this market, we need a pullback towards the, the 20 exponential moving average or in the, mid, the middle of the, uh, the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average in order to target these previous highs. If these highs break, then we're most likely going to 18, uh, 18, uh, 18, 5 and 18.6. So technical indicators are looking very bullish. So we may go even and break this highs at this point. There is some room to the upside. We are not overstretched or outside of the bullish band. So we may go even further than this. So let's look at sugar. So we have been back and forward today. We uh, got a little bit higher, but at this point, we may fall towards the 20 exponential or if you want to buy into this market we should fall towards the 20 exponential that's as uh, that's at uh, 0600 and uh, if that is the case then you can buy stop loss underneath and then target these previous highs here of 1670 technical indicators are well technically all over the place uh, cci is flat the rsi is flat and uh, stochastic is bullish and the uh, macd is basically flat at this point so I would wait for a pullback towards the 20 in order to buy to these highs. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly. We are at 0 0.8675. And at this point, we just went parabolic. We can look at the Bollinger Band for cotton. We can see how far outside of the Bollinger Band we are at this point. So a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band at roughly 0 0.8159. That is uh, very optimistic that that will happen. We mostly stop here at these previous highs. So roughly 84.37, that is where you will see buyers come back and buy this. To buy it here is just, well, stupid. You need a pullback towards these areas. Uh, in order to find support and in order to and then you can start buying it again technical indicators for example that stochastic are turning around here so not extremely bullish macd is bullish cci is bullish and the rsi is overbought at this point and we're overstretched so pullback is very very likely so let's look at koa so as you can see we have just collapsed um, but this probably is the best buying opportunity that has been for a very long time for this market. We are trading at the highest here of 2.8, very lows here at 2.2, and we then have the middle, which is at 2.6, and the bottom here at 2.4. So we are across the 200 moving average. We are outside of the Bollinger Band. Technical indicators are looking dreadful, but. Uh, the way this market has been behaving in recently is that when you get to these um, to 2.6, give or take, it has broken down. When you get to roughly the 200 moving average where we are at the moment, it has rallied. So you could target um, 2.6 from here if we don't start trading underneath the 200 moving average. So that is a possibility with a very tight stop loss right underneath the 200 moving average. So let's look at wheat.
Yes. So as you can see, we did break down quite substantially down to 640 and then rallied a little bit. We are still underneath the 20 uh, moving average here in the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators are all over the place. Stochastic is bullish. MACD is bearish. The CCI is bearish. And the RSI is also very bearish at this point. So if we break above the the middle of the bullish band, then we could go to the top here at 678. However, a pullback towards the 50 moving average would probably be the best thing that could happen here in order to target the upside. It's fairly risky. We could, if we start buying here, we could drop towards the 50 and then rally. I would rather wait if we fall towards the 50 in order to buy this to the upside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to, welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.